Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's ring reveal is from Bubbly Bell, and this is their Sweetheart Bath Bomb. Yes, it is a Valentine's Day bath bomb. I ordered it a very long time ago, and then I just had so many other products that I didn't get around to filming it until now. I do have some more bath bombs that I also ordered during that time frame that are still available on their website, so I will get to posting those as well. But I wanted to show you my favorite thing about their bath bombs, and it's not really focusing because there's too much going on on camera, but they all have a sticker that says Bubbly Bell, the name of the bath bomb, the ring size, the fragrance notes, the ingredients. It gives you like anything you would want to know about the bath bomb, and that's super helpful, at least if you're someone like me, who uh, might take a while to get around to using it. And you may, if it's no longer on the website, you don't know the fragrance notes, but they put it all on there for you. So I love that. I wish the other companies did that for their products as well. But this one does have fragrance notes of red currant and sandalwood. And it was a pretty fast fizzer. I knew there wasn't going to be too much of the bath bomb left, especially when it does that slow rollover like that. Normally you can see the container at that point. So there wasn't too much. So I returned it to the bathtub to try to get the pop, as I call it, um, caught on camera. Because oftentimes they take so long, they end up breaking them free. But it is fun to catch the pop on camera. Which you will see in just a moment. If you want to see other demos from this company, I do have a playlist. And I also have a promo code below too that will save you some money off your order. But there's that pop I was talking about. And the water is bright red. Looks like Hawaiian punch. Inside you do get a code that you enter on the website. It'll tell you how much your ring appraises for. And this is the ring that I got. So normally the rings do have like a center stone. Um, so this one didn't have any kind of stone, but I like it. I like the crisscross. I think it's really pretty. And it did appraise for $15 on their website. I felt like it was a little snug for a seven, unless my hands were just swollen that day. Um, but I almost like wearing it like on my knuckle instead on like maybe the middle finger, kind of like as like a midi ring. I think that looks cool. And of course, you could also turn to the side uh, to change the design as well. But that is what I have for you today. If you'd like to see more ring reveals from this company, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching. Bye, guys.